Hello and welcome to Captain Bob. Today we're going to get MobiFlight working with X-Plane. To start, go over to MobiFlight.com and then click the download button. Download the newest version. I like to install this in a new folder named MobiFlight. Run the .exe file right here and then install MobiFlight and the files will auto-populate. It should look something like this. And you can even put it in your program files folder if you'd like. And run the connector. Just a quick side note, if Windows Defender tries to stop it, click more, run anyways. You can run MobiFlight, connector, and you're in MobiFlight. Congratulations. Now we can do a ton of fun things, but you'll notice we don't have any modules open and our sim status is a no-go. That, my friend, is where XPUIPC comes into play. You can Google XPUIPC and you'll install the Pete Dowson software from the shirati.com page. A link to this is in the description below. This is kind of cheating because it basically translates X-Plane data refs into FSUIPC offsets. So you can go ahead and download this and then extract the folder. That gives you this little folder right here. You can click it and actually copy the XPUIPC folder right here. From there, you can go into your Xplane 11 folder, wherever the heck that is, and then go into resources and plugins. And guess what we're gonna do here? We're gonna paste it. Oh, wrong folder. There we go. So it's in our Xplane 11 folder, and we can prove it is by restarting Xplane and restarting MobiFlight. Uh, Xplane isn't responding. This is just like whenever I email my teachers. And you'll see that the XPUIPC status is a go. That's super exciting. That's all we needed with Xplane, and we can go over to MobiFlight. I reopened MobiFlight with a connected Arduino, and you'll see that the modules checkmark checked off. Before the 8.0 update, you had to install Arduino IDE, but that no longer has to happen because Arduino IDE is basically installed. It's Averdude. So what we can actually do is go over to Extras, Settings, and then the MobiFlight modules. So the module is connected. It should do that automatically as long as it's an Arduino. Mega, Pro Micro, or Pro Mini. And then you can click Extras, Settings, and MobiFlight Modules. I'm connecting the switch to pin 2 and the LED to pin 53. For the switch, one of the wires goes to ground and one of the wires goes to pin 2. And for the LED, one of the pin goes to ground and one of the pins goes to 53. This configuration is the same as my FS2020 video. Go under Extras, Settings, and MobiFlight Modules to add these. If you're a beginner at this, I'd recommend watching my videos on toggle switches and LEDs. The links should be up in the cards right here and in the link in the description below. Go ahead and upload your configuration to the Arduino. For my output, I'm going to make a landing light and then press active. We're going to press edit and then use the preset landing lights. You can find this about three quarters of the way down. Press use and our landing light should be all configured. Go over to the display tab and use the MobiFlight Mega with our pin, our LED. Press test. Moment of truth. Oh, moment of false. If the LED doesn't illuminate, you might consider flipping the pin out. If you wired this correctly, when you press test, it turns on, and stop, it turns off. Next, let's go into the input tab. We're going to make another landing lights configuration, activate it, and press edit. Preconditions are beyond the scope of this video. Go over to the input tab, and under input tab, select your MobiFlight Mega, and your switch. The action type will be an FSUIPC offset. 
even though that's a little counterintuitive. We can use another landing light preset. This one's about a third of the way down. Press use. It'll auto populate and then set the value to one. On release, do the same thing. FSU IPC offset preset cockpit landing lights. Use and set this value to zero. This will make it an on or off value. We can go ahead and press run and test our configuration. Woohoo! Right now you'll see our switch. This landing light switch might not be that helpful, but you can take this same concept to other places in your simulator, like a gear indicator light. This can be a fairly confusing process, so I'll link some of the resources that helped me in the description below. If you found this video helpful, you might also find this playlist right here helpful. It contains all of my Moby Flight wiring videos I've done so far, and it even has an FS2020 video. You might also find these two videos helpful, the Switch and LED. Regardless, have a fantabulous rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.